Clone Captain Rex. Captain Rex served the Republic during the Clone Wars, often taking orders from Anakin Skywalker and Asuka Tano. He viewed military service as an honour, and he always accepted the his mission. Hello, welcome to another Centurion's Corner, and today I'm bringing you my main man, Captain Rex. Now, I had this guy before I started doing YouTube, and this is the guy who's the pinnacle Black Series character for me, which is why I started collecting Black Series. It's my first purchase, it cost me about £11 on the Entertainer, and I think roughly out there you can get him right now for about £11, uh, maybe up to £20, depending on the kind of sort of demand he is. Because at the moment, a lot of customizers are actually picking this guy up and changing all his bits and bobs and scratching off the areas and turning him into something brand new, which they look amazing. But this is the guy for me that started it all. And this is the main reason I started customizing Clone Wars figures as well, because you know, I love the Clone Wars, as you know, if you go into my past videos, it's all, all the clones and everything like that, all the commanders. And when I got this guy, I was literally blown away. The detail and everything on them, I thought it was absolutely amazing. Black Series before, you know, for £20, you could pick up a NECA figure that looked like a Hot Toys kind of mini statue, which looked great. But you had these guys for £20, and beforehand, we had the faces like the Episode 3 Obi-Wan Kenobi, the faces from A New Hope, Princess Leia, who looks like a little man ape. You know, it just, they just didn't look great for me. They, you know, I wanted Star Wars to be like six inch figures on my shelf looking absolutely mint. But the ones beforehand, I just didn't think they looked great. And that's why I collected the Elite series because they had that, those metal bodies, they felt a little bit more robust. They looked pretty cool, but you know, I was a bit wrong with them, I must admit. But the Black Series now, and now they've got this sort of face printing technology for this guy. Oh yeah, you know, this is this is my pinnacle Black Series character. And I'll tell you why as we go through the review. So this guy, he comes with three accessories. He has his two DC pistols and he has his helmet. So two of which are the same. So we'll just show you one off now. And um, there's no paint applications or anything on this uh, these figures. I mean, sorry, on these guns. And it's just just a standard sort of like gunmetal grey, just right there. Zooming in, there we go. And it's just the same all around. And with this, I just pop into his holsters, just nicely, just there. And I did pick up a second um, Captain Rex, and, and he was my guinea pig Rex, which is basically, I took all the belts off, um, and these other guns, and that's what I recreated for all my other clone troopers that you see. And it just fits really nicely in his hand. Unfortunately, his other hand, for his other gun, they didn't incorporate a trigger finger. So I don't know why they didn't do that. I mean, I can't see why they don't have the technology to recreate this one, mirror it, and then so it goes into this hand. Because it's just annoying where he's got two trigger pistols and that one he just holds it just just as natural so there's his guns and the other part that he comes with for his accessories is his helmet just go back in there so his helmet unfortunately it's a little bit tight on his head and when it sits back on his head it doesn't really sort of sit flush it kind of sort of always has his chin poking out of the bottom because his head's a little bit round so you, you can't get that chin up there so you kind of have to always sort of put his head down without seeing his chin. But his chin's always sort of just, just poking out the bottom, which is a, a sad story. But here's his helmet, and we've got all his details on there. We've got his tally charts and everything around on there. We've got a little bit of weathering. And it just, just looks great. Just It's just got the right amount of detail. It's got, you know, it still looks like an action figure, still looks like a toy, which is what I, I do like collecting I like collecting you know figures that look like a bit like toys but they've got that realistic kind of look about them so we've got his viewfinder and no paint on the inside apart from a little bit of rub from his head so that's his accessories we leave that off and we go through his articulation so 
with his head. He hasn't got a kind of rocker, unfortunately. But he can look down this much and he can look up this far. He's got a movement up into his shoulder. And that's a rotation in there, but you can't really rotate it because of the pulsion. But this side you can. And then we got rotation just underneath his shoulder belt. And then we've got a double jointed elbow, which has got a brilliant bend on it. Goes right up. And we've got a rotation at the wrist and also got a hinge. We've got an ab crunch. And it goes back, he's rotated. And also he can stick his legs out this far. And these are kind of made of a, a kind of plasticky vinyl, so they don't get in the way. And then it goes up this far. It doesn't go back as much because of the armor and his, his butt armor. But he's got a double rotate, um, double jointed knee. He's got an ankle pivot and a rocker. So literally his articulations there, and it's a bit more beyond other um, other black series as well. Um, which obviously I didn't realize at first. I thought all black series were the same. You know, I just thought they were all sort of there. But he stands well, his legs are fine, he's really articulated. But where this guy comes to life is his sculpt. And I was literally blown away with his face sculpt. And I think the, the actors are I can't remember his name, first name, but I know it's Morrison's, as it always reminds you of the shopping mart. But yeah, like it, it takes you back a little bit first because obviously he's got his blonde hair, but obviously that's what Captain Rex came with. But that face is brilliant. You know, it's amazing, I think. Got a little bit of paint rub there from the helmet, but um, yeah, literally on point. And amazing and the kudos to Hasbro for bringing us this type of sculpt and that's this 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 here is what it needed and this is what got me into the black series just this little face here that's what got me into black series and I'd imagine a lot of other people looking at that would actually think do you know what that's not bad but carry on down the sculpt obviously we've got his pauldron which is painted in the nice and blue nice and vibrant on the 501st we've got all the clone parts of the armor going down to his arms and they've got the scuff marks in there and his tally charts and he's got his carrying on those sort of extra ribbing parts down here and a bit more reverend around the belt and I, I like the way that it's sort of done it's kind of like a, a coffee stained kind of sort of armor and this is where I got the inspiration from on my sort of like uh, you know weathering on my my clone troopers it doesn't take too far away from the actual storm, um, clone trooper itself but um, it's just enough on there to see that he's done a little bit of battle damage and a bit of weathering out there. And we come down, we've got his little uh, Chimera sort of skirt going down to his legs. Again, it's all weathered and with a little bit of a weathering of there and more tally chance. And then going down to his feet as well and the weathering's still there. And it also continues the weathering on the back. And what you find as well, a lot of Black Series figures don't have this sometimes they just sort of like miss out on the back part and it's all the front part for the people that keep it in the box for people that keep it on the shelf but actually no he's fully fully weathered and looking great and his helmet also carries on that weathering as well just to sort of blend it all in so it all looks like one figure once you've got that helmet on he is truly a masterpiece of black series i this is this is it. This is the pinnacle guy. And if you're ever going to get a Black Series guy, make sure that you have him in, in your collection. So guys, it's just one of those small little reviews that I'm bringing my collection out for a review for ones that hadn't had a review. So what do you think of this guy, guys? Is he one of your top, top four? I mean, to me, he's my top one. He's, he's my buddy. And I couldn't deal without a Black Series collection without this guy in it. So guys... Thank you for joining me on this episode and I'll catch you next time. Bye.